up, kings and queens? I want to welcome you back to another Blackout Friday. And if you missed last week's, you can find it right up here. Now, today, I want to speak about a major economist. He's from the West Indies, and I'm pretty sure many of us have never heard of him. His name is Sir Arthur Lewis. And if you never heard about him, let's learn about him. Sir William Arthur Lewis was born January 23rd, 1915. As a young man, he was quite ill. So he was unable to attend school when he was very young. He was homeschooled by his parents, which worked out well. Because when he finally was able to attend a high school, St. Mary College, he excelled. The knowledge he possessed was massive, allowing him to skip a couple grades, graduating early, graduating at the age of 16. Now, at the time, he was unable to attend college early, so he worked as a clerk in the meantime until he then received a scholarship to attend the London School of Economics. Now, with his newfound scholarship to the London School of Economics, granted, not just having a scholarship, but also being the first black man, African-American, West Indian, man of melanin, entering into that school. And then excelling so well that they urged him to achieve a PhD. In 1936, he got his bachelor's in science. And then in 1940, went back to get his PhD. And not even stopping there. Went back again to teach at the school, becoming again the first African, Black, West Indian man of melanin to teach and attend the school. Sir Arthur Bad man. Bad man. While teaching at the School of Economics in London, he published some of the most influential works. One article, The Economic Development with Unlimited Supplies of Labor in 1954. Then he published The Theory of Economic Growth in 1955. Both of which he used to take back home to the undeveloped countries in Africa, in the Caribbean, the West Indies, which he came from. He used this information that he acquired while learning at the School of Economics in London and then brought it back home to help us build. That is a bad man. He went back in 1957 when Ghana gained their independence. He was their first economic advisor. He was also economic advisor to Nigeria. He went back to the Caribbean region in 1959. Economic advisor to Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad, and Tobago. He helped to draw up the five-year development plan for Ghana. He took all that knowledge that he went and learned at that European school at those higher education institutions that they have developed that we don't get to go to regularly and brought it back to us to teach us a better way to grow. And now, half of us have never even heard of Sir Arthur Lewis. We don't even know nothing about what he's taught us, what he's tried to help us do, how he's tried to help us grow and expand and further the development of African countries, Caribbean countries, any country where we occupy, he's attempted to help us find a better way to get a good hold on economic development. And before I forget, let me tell you, the reason I've been calling him Sir Arthur Lewis it's because in 1963, he was knighted by the British government for all his accomplishments. And of course, 
for teaching at the economic school in London. Also, in that same year, he went to America to teach at the Princeton University, another one of those institutions of higher learning. And oh no, I'm not done. In 1979, he achieved a Nobel Prize for the category of economics, which was baffling, baffling. being that most Nobel Prizes go to literary accomplishments. But Sir Arthur Lewis was there to defy all odds because he was a bad man. Oh, hell! Sir William Arthur Lewis, one of the greatest of economic minds to set seats at the round table. Sir Arthur Lewis. This is the first time I've spoken about someone who's been knighted before. It's overwhelming. The great economist that he is, coming back home to help us develop and help us grow. Understanding who he is, where he's from, and what he should be doing with the knowledge he's acquired. A lot of us get a little bit of knowledge, think we know something, and then disappear and never help anybody else develop anything. But for standing by his country and others like it, coming back, giving us jewels, I have got to... Well, I guess I'm going to say bow for Sir Arthur Lewis for being a part of our black history. And you know, that's just about all we got today for Blackout Fridays. So please, please, please like, share, subscribe, drop a little comment, tell us how you feel. And if you're looking for more knowledge, you can find it up here. And I'm out.